Hi folks, it's John Eisman from LastChanceOnRestore.com and uh, just a quick update for you. I'd like to share with one of the vehicles that we're working on here. This is the 1958 Chevy Impala. So we, uh, what we've done is we've just lifted the body off of the chassis or the frame. So we've got it set on one of the rotisseries that we've made and you can see now um, everything. The last time we saw this it had the master cylinder, the blower, and everything was installed in the firewall. And as you come around this side, um, you can see everything is now out of the dash. So we've removed the, um, the wiring harness, the cluster, um, everything to do with the dashboard you can see is all now removed. You can see up in the roof area we don't have any wiring, any courtesy lights of any kind, and then along the back. So you can see um, everything has been removed and we're getting ready um, to sandblast. So the next step will be to media blast or sandblast this uh, body. Now there's a couple things I'd like to point out. Um, it's going to probably need, it's hard to see right now, but there's been a lot of, um, I would say, questionable repairs over the years just to keep the car going. And one of them is in here. This is uh, your, your main floor and one of your main support braces. And I think the video camera can pick it up. This material, and it's shrunk now, it's pulled away. But someone's tried to use a fiberglass uh, matting and resin and relying on that to help with the structural rigidity of the car. So you can see it's, it's kind of pulling away. I'm sure at some point it plugged the hole and, and looked decent. Same thing on the other side, the camera's probably not going to be able to pick it up that well, but there's several patches that have been done along the inner rocker panel and that cross member piece. Um, we'll get a better look at it once we sandblast this, but there's a lot of patchwork, so we're probably going to do uh, floor sections in this, and once the sandblasting is done, it will expose the areas that we really need to, uh, to cut out and replace. Um, in the GM line, of full-size cars, this is probably my most favorite, a 58 Impala Coupe. Love the body lines and the style. I uh, love this quarter panel. It's incredible how long the quarter panels are. Um, you know, I'm, I'm almost six foot and, and reaching out. I, I don't know. It's, uh, it's a big quarter panel. So um, what we've done is there's a lot of body filler and so on. So all of the areas it's not safe to sandblast that may cause some warpage, like this quarter panel and the, the panels here, we've sanded off and sanded down. There is a considerable amount of body filler that came out of here, and we can see why. I think the camera can probably pick it up. There's been lots of different uh, patches done to this vehicle. You can see where they've added uh, metal that's been rusted away. They've put steel on top of rusted steel, and then they use the old pop rivets um, all the way across. So these circles that you see here um, going all the way across and then they got a little bit out so then they've pounded in with a hammer um, if I was smart and had a straight edge I could show you that had a considerable amount of body filler in it. So to do this properly these rocker panels need to be cut out and replaced with new ones and then also along here because essentially what we have is um, a, a poor repair on top of rusted metal underneath. And then you can see here where they've hit it with the grinder and they've busted through and there's holes through here um, and you can see these big divots. So once we sandblast everything uh, it'll expose all of the nasty stuff and we'll be able to cut that away. And then as you come along the wheel well you can see there's a considerable amount of rust through here and then once we remove there's a lot of fiberglass and body filler and stuff you can see stuff falling out in behind because they've got any kind of material just to kind of plug it um, so we'll make sure that's all cut out and new steel put in um, the style body style of the 58 impala it was notorious for rotting out in this bottom section and obviously we have some evidence of it here we have a combination of uh, fiberglass matting that you can see this is all just fiberglass in there um, so between fiberglass and old bronzing and steel and then uh, pop rivet patches here alone we've got three separate um, patches on top of rusted steel 
So this is unacceptable and that'll all be removed. We'll show you the tubs and, and uh, the underneath. I think the camera can pick it up. It's gonna be dark in here, but um, this rail, this main support rail, I th I'm not sure, it might be too dark for the camera, but you can see the whole inner rocker panel is all rotted away in here. So you see our outer rocker in the bottom, and then you can see my screwdriver is going all the way through. So there's no material in there. And then our cross members, these are support pieces coming across here, and you can see it's rotting away, and there's not a whole lot holding that in. So we were anticipating this to be this rusty. So it's not a shock to us at all. Um, it's um, once we have it sandblasted, we're going to scrape all of this tar and, and odd rod um, repair stuff. We'll scrape all that off because the sandblasting material will just bounce off of that. So we'll remove it and then we'll sandblast all this. It will expose um, what they refer to as a Swiss cheese kind of rust look. Um, so we're going to bust through in some areas. That's what we want. We want to be able to remove all the bad stuff, all the bad rust, and poor previous repairs exposed. Once we have that, then we'll have a game plan of where we're going to cut it out. We're going to make our own pieces of steel. We'll buy the rocker panels and the floor sections that we'll need. Um, so I just wanted to show you this section because it is quite rusty, but it's notorious for a 58 Impala. Those are common areas that rust. Now as we come around this way towards the back, you can see we fastened the rotisserie on the bottom of the vehicle. Um, we did all this by hand, and then because it's so much stronger in here, the metal is strong, this is where we'll sandblast. We'll sandblast this section around the tail lights and ridges, and the, the style uh, to me is stunning. I love this style of car. Um, so once again, you can see where the factory is quite dusty here, but uh, you can see the factory seam where they, um, they've, they've leaded the quarter panel to this other section, and that's your factory uh, line where they've added these two pieces together. And we love to see that because we know that uh, this has never been in a collision. Because if this was in a collision, we would see chunks cut out and evidence of panels being replaced. And in the back you can see some styling things that are really neat. Um, it, we have the, uh, the fuel door that's on this side, the fuel filler door. And then GM was really neat with their design. They have a dummy panel on this side. So it's kind of a neat little style touch. And then we look inside. I think the camera can probably pick it up. I'm assuming we're more than likely going to need uh, probably a full trunk floor because you can see where the main supports are and I'm not going to pry on that too much but this is um, a, a lot of like caulking and goop that someone's put in there and that's what somebody would call a repair where it looks like it's uh, I'm not even sure if that's some kind of spray foam or but there's uh, a lot of stuff that they've put in different sections to hide the rust, but that's a structural point that's attached to the frame. So there's a lot of it along the wheel well tub, and that's very common where the quarter panel and the inner tub meet. All in here, you can see all that fun stuff. We'll remove all of that, and it's going to expose a lot of rust like this. And once again, it's anticipated. We know it's going to happen, and we're going to deal with it. Same thing on the other side. You can see the driver's side that mount is actually missing, it's rotted through. So that's one of the points that the body is actually bolted to the frame. And you can see that's probably an important section there, so we'll fix that and repair it with all new metal. So we'll do another video shortly. Just wanted to show you, so this is the Impala on our rotisserie that's adjustable, and then we'll end up turning it on its side, and then we'll scrape all the tar and, uh, and goop away and get this ready for the sandblasting crew and then we'll sandblast the whole body to expose it. And then we'll do a video here shortly. We'll just spin from the body to the frame. So here's the chassis and the exhaust system. So we've been working on this today where we lifted the body off of the frame and you can see we still have quite a few components that we're going to be dealing with. We have um, the, uh, uh, the brake components and lines our steering components, we still have the drive shaft hooked up, 
and then we have quite a few of the old brake lines and cables. So we'll remove all of that and then we have another rotisserie that we've made for frames. So we have the body on one rotisserie and then we'll disassemble the suspension and get all the components ready to sandblast and then we'll repaint them and epoxy them. Um, but what we'll do is we'll make sure that the frame is all completely disassembled and then we'll have it on a rotisserie and then we'll be able to turn it, sandblast the whole frame and then that will expose any areas that will need some repair because we're anticipating the frame will need some repairs in some different areas. So I'll share that with you as we get it ready for the rotisserie. So thank you for watching. This is one of the projects we're working on. It's a 58 Chevrolet Impala. I'm John from LastChanceAutoRestore.com.